you miss that one? Unfortunate times. You what? A bit round of you. Uh, you. Sorry, mate. Don't know. Do you know where they are? I do, actually. They're back in Stoke on Trent. It's a good joke. You missed that one. Don't swear, mate. And don't abuse me either, you know. I think uh, I'm doing quite nicely on my haircut recently. And I was walking down this road the other day. This uh, bloke comes up to me. No, no. There was a local barber, and he said, uh, do you fancy a haircut? Ted, I said, OK, I'll see you in about half an hour, you know. I went to the barber shop in about half an hour after my dinner break, and um, I walked into the shop, and I sat down. I said to the bloke, can you cut my hair around the back, mate? He said, well, what's wrong with this room? <laughs> ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You could dance to that joke you could have done, but, uh, you know... You're missing it now, so we're uh, too late. Anyway. The train joke! Trouble with you, mate. You're too abusive, you know. Anyway. So anyway, I was walking down this road the other day. This uh, mate of mine pulled up alongside me in a, his new flash car. You know, Jaguar. You know what Jaguars are like? Modern. Flash, you know. Anyway, so my mate pulled up alongside me in his uh, new car, you know. And I said to him, you're going up market a bit there, aren't you, mate? He says, ah, do you want a lift? <laughs> so I was going there myself, you know. I had a lift there, I did. Thank you. You can dance to this one, because it's uh, a disco number, you know. Used to go down well. Still does, I should imagine. See you dancing. Join in, you can. D-I-S-C-O. D-I-S-C-O. D. I. S. No, no, super sexy S's, you know. You got the words wrong there, I'm afraid. That's right. D-I-S-C-O. D-I-S-C-O. D. Delightful. I. Irresistible. S. Sensational. You don't sing then? C. Can't be bad, no. O. Oh, oh dear. Actually, mate, so that I said, I feel like a horse, in fact. He said, Feel like a horse, so that champion. Uh, you don't do that anymore, actually, you know. I'll tell you a true story, actually. You might not cheer afterwards, but uh, I'll tell you one anyway. Anyway, no. You've got to quieten down to this one, you know. It's uh, a sad one, this. No, no. I went to the football the other day. No, Aston Villa. Well, what can you say? Anyway. 
could say that. I wouldn't bother myself anyway. So anyway, I went to the football the other day. I was walking down the road. This uh, policeman come up alongside me. And he said, uh, tell us a joke, Ted. I found that quite amusing myself. I don't know if you did, but I did anyway. Thank you. Do you find that well worth clapping to then? Well, oh. I've got a complaint actually to you lot down the front here. You know the last group on, Big Ed and the Rockin' Rattlesnakes, a good group. Thank you. So why were you swearing at them, you know? That's what you said to them. You shouldn't have said that, you know, it's offensive that, you know. We wouldn't swear to that, and you shouldn't either. There's a couple of characters down here. Had a few mugs too to drink, I think, anyway. Here's the next number tonight. We'll see you, uh, see you shedding a few tears on the dance floor to this one, I should imagine. Do you, mate? It's your trouble, mate. if you don't mind. They're not, they're not too bad new jokes, are they? You know, now and again. Careful, careful. Anyway, this new joke. I went into the shop the other day, you know. Ah, it's a good joke, that one, eh? Here's another one. I went in the, into the shop next door to that one, and um, this... Uh, bloke behind the counter was stood there and I walked up to him I said uh, have you got any sauce mate he said what HP I said no you're all right I'll pay cash I did do you know you like that one good 
new material. Ah, I'm glad you realised I've got a new jacket on tonight. It's a good jacket, this one. Not as good as the old one, eh? But, uh, you know, you can't win them all. Anyway, so I was walking down this road the other day, this uh, mate's mine pulls up alongside me in a modern motorcar. He said, excuse me, mate, I'm in a dilemma. I said, ah, oh, well, they're not bad, them dilemmas, you know. Thank you. Well, well, well. Here's another number. You can't uh, cheer to this one, you know. Stay silent, you know. And I got there, got there half an hour early. Anyway, so I was there in the canteen having a cup of tea or two, you know, a cup of tea or two, I meant. Had a few too many cups of tea, feeling a bit weird, you know. And I realised there was Alvin Stardust outside who I was supposed to meet, you know. Anyway, he said to me, you know what, Ted, I feel like Buddy Holly. I said, well, I'll, you deserve a round of applause for that, Alvin, you know. And he said to me, that's right, Ted. So I said to him, I should imagine you feel how uh, Paul McCartney felt when he wrote that song, She Loves You, you know. And you know that can't be bad. That's how I felt, you know, that's how he did too. It's a good day, that. Remember it well. Anyway. I said to my mate, Alvin, I said, I think we should uh, check into the Heartbreak Hotel, you know. We're feeling a bit uh, lonely. It's a good place to go, that, you know, the Heartbreak Hotel. He said, OK, Ted. I said, OK, then. We got there. I said to him, how about a game of solitaire, you know? It's a good, time, get, good game to play that when you're depressed, you know, solitaire. Had a couple of games. And he said to me, you know what, Ted? I feel like Buddy Holly again. I said, well, you know, on the way here, we were walking down the road, got caught in a shower storm, got a bit wet. You can imagine you got a bit of rain in your heart, you know. He said, ah, oh, that's right, Ted. And I said, I want to know how uh, Paul Simon felt when he wrote that song, you know, The Sound of Silence. Not much, really. It was a sad day, you know. Thank you. It's a good number, that one. OK, I'll tell you a joke. I told this one uh, quite quick, you know, because I, I don't like telling this one, so if you don't... Snappy, yeah, that's right. Anyway, this uh, duck walked into the chemist shop the other day in the winter time. No. Just down the road, you know. Anyway, so, this uh, duck... Have you had a bit too much to drink tonight, have you? I think you are. In that case, I think I'll ignore you, OK? People who can't drink, they're not very good, are they? Anyway, so I'll tell you a, a real joke, this one. Should go down well. 
walking down the road the other day, this uh, bloke walks up to me, long hair bloke, drug addict, he said, uh, I'm addicted. I said, ah, oh, I think you probably are, mate. <laughs> Have you heard that before? Huh. New material, a new coat, as I've said before, you know, you didn't get it last time, I'll tell you again. All right, Andy. There's Andy, anyway. It's a good job we can't see him. Anyway, so, here's another joke. Walking down the road the other day, this uh, bloke walked up to me, long hair bloke, he said, uh, do you want some LSD, mate? He said, no, thank you. You got the wrong one there. No. No, no. Derek Dugan didn't take uh, LSD, did he? I think he might have done. In 1967 he might have done anyway. Anyway, so I said to this bloke, in case you haven't heard this one before, no thank you. Sensible thing to say. Anyway. Do you fancy a true story? I got the train here today. Hope you like that one. Here's an, another number. You can dance to this one, I think. You can dance to that one too. This bloke comes up to me, he said, uh, I've just got back from Nam. I said, what do you mean, mate, Vietnam? He said, no, Chow Nam. <laughs> Anyone going to Glastonbury this year? <laughs> well, I went last year. It's a joke, that. <laughs> anyway, I'll be going this year, and I should imagine I'll be walking around the field, you know? And I should imagine that I'll see a long hair bloke sitting outside his teepee. And I should imagine I'll say, how are you doing, Chief? On a will, you know. It's one that I can remember that. Anyway, I went round my mate's house the other day. I sat down in the chair after I'd, uh, you know, been let in. And uh, he said to me, do you want a cup of tea? Tell us that. No, no, it's quite old, this. 
three times you've had that tonight. Okay. Well, we're all down here on the stage, aren't we? Having a good time tonight. Good to get a cheer for that. Anyway, so I was walking down this road the other day. This uh, bloke said to me, he said, uh, tell us how far the railway station is away from here, mate. I said to him, I'm not sure, mate. You know, I'm in uh, Newcastle. It's a bit of a long way from where I live. I'm not sure where the new, where the station is, you know, so uh, couldn't answer that one, you know. A sad day, that. Anyway, I see you rocking. Quieting down. You can rock to this joke. I'll tell you a true story. One day, this woman did a washing. Turned out quite nice, you know. She uh, folded it up, did the ironing, had a good day's washing, you know. It's a good day there. Anyway, so, you can clap to this joke you can. There's a couple of blokes down here clapping to this one. See you clapping. No, it's not that fast. No, 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 no. Anyway, this woman did a washing, as I was telling you, you know, she uh, hung it on the line, the line broke, the uh, washing fell in the mud, you know, did it all over again, she did. Anyway, the next day, she uh, put the washing out on the ground to, uh, you know, lie down while it was resting for a bit, while the sunshine was out. Uh, unfortunately, though, you got it wrong there, mate. Unfortunately, the dog from next door came running along and his muddy feet run all over the washing, you know. Anyway. The woman, she didn't cry a bit, you know, she wasn't annoyed. All she said was, well, 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 isn't it strange that uh, he didn't miss anything? This was true greatness, but it is only people who have done washing that know it, you know. Anyway, when you're down the lawn track, you too, remember that, you know. When, you, when your whites turn up whiter than white, you'll know that you've discovered true greatness. Anyway, here's the next number tonight. Well, the last number tonight, I think. You're wrong. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock. I'm gonna rock around the clock tonight, eh? Clock strikes one, rock till two. Clock strikes two, rock till three. Clock strikes four. I have to get the train then at four o'clock. Actually, the train goes at half four, you know, so between four and half four, we'll walk to the station. We'll get on the train at half four, rock till half five. Then we'll get off the train then. We'll walk home, we'll get home at uh, about six o'clock in the morning, you know. Too late to rock then though, you know, we don't want to disturb the neighbors, so uh, we'll go to bed, you know. Bifalula, she's my baby. Bifalula, I love me maybe you know. Bifalula, she's my baby. Bifalula, I love me maybe. Bifalula, she he he's my baby love you know. She's the girl in the red blue jeans. She's the queen of all her teens you know. She's the one that I know. She's the one that loves me so, oh. Bifafalula, she's my baby. Bifafalula, I don't mean maybe. Bifafalula, she, he, he's my baby, love you know. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, mate. Crying all the time, you know. You've never killed a rabbit, you know, friend of mine, you know. Oh no. Anyway, you said you were high class. It's a bit of a lie though, eh? You said you were high class again. Another lie. You've never killed a rabbit, you know, friend of mine. 
You're nothing but a hound dog, you know. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Him down there. He's never killed a rabbit, him, you know. He's no friend of mine. I went to a party at the county jail. They wouldn't let me in and began to wail. I soon got in though, you know, disturbing the peace. I said to everyone, let's rock. Why well, now everyone in the whole soul block? We're dancing tonight to the jailhouse rock. Come on now. There was uh, Ronnie Wilson on saxophone. Spider Murphy on trombone. It's a bit disappointing actually, you know, they couldn't get their instruments in, so anyway, I said let's rock. Everybody in the whole soul block was dancing to the jailhouse rock that night, you know, remember it while I do. Well, it's Saturday night and I've just got paid. Find it hard to say though, you know. Got a bit of money, me heart says go, go. Me mind says, be careful, Ted. So I said to myself, anyway, let's rip it up. Let's rock it up. Let's shake it up as well, eh? At the ball tonight. Anyway, I got at this stage. I said to her, about 88. She didn't know what I was talking about though. I got there, she wasn't there, I was a bit disappointed, you know, so I said to myself, let's rip it up, Ted. Let's shake it up as well. Let's ball it up. Let's uh, rock it up. Let's rip it up. At the ball tonight. Oh no. Thank you. talking to this duck the other day, I said, how are you doing, duck? And the duck said, well, I'm not doing too bad. I said, you know, I went to the chemist shop the other day in this bit of bad weather we've been having recently, and uh, I said, well, what happened then? And he said, well, I walked into the chemist shop, I said to the boat, have a bit of chapstick, mate. He said, that. well, that'll be 55 pence, please, duck. And the duck said, well, can you put it on me bill? It's a good one, that, eh? Hey? This long dead bloke walks up to me the other day, he said, do you want some grass, mate? I said, no, thank you, I've got crazy paving, you know. Yeah. Wouldn't mind a front lawn now and again, I said to him, but uh, on the whole, you know, crazy paving does me all right, you know. You what? You've had three new ones tonight, what more do you want, you know? It's one new, one more new one. This, what? Okay. Who's that? Who's he? Sorry, mate, I've never heard of him, you know. They're no friends. No friends of mine. Anyway, there was these Chinese blokes the other day at the, uh, at the car factory. It was raining, and they said, a bit of bad weather we've been having recently. Anyway, so this, uh, the bloke walked up to me the other day, he said, I'm a tricky character, said I said, well, I don't believe you actually, mate. He said, well, it was a trick. Anyway, thank you. Here's the last number tonight. Make the most of it. Let's see you rocking. I should imagine. Rocking 
with Elvis. Rockin' with Buddy Holly. Rockin' with Gene Vincent. But rockin' with Rita though. You sure can't beat her, oh no. to see. So I like it. Anyway, so, make a joke out of anything I can. Anyone got a topic? Receiving hairlines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a block down here with a receiving hairline. It's a good joke, that. I hope you liked it. Anyway, here's the last number tonight. I hope you like this one as well. I can't dance to this, I'm afraid, so... Shaking in my leg bone. Shaking in my elbow bone. Shaking in my uh, little finger bone. 
from the Hedgewick car, come on. I want to shake all over, you know. Get shivers down in that bone. A bit of shaking going on down the leg bone as well. And I think to myself, I must be shaking all over, you know. Anyway, I want to shake from me ankle bone up to me thigh bone. Take a bit of knee bone in on the way, you know. Like a bit of knee bone, I do. Anyway, so anyway, I've got up to the hip bone and I'm thinking it's about time I shook all over, Ted. So I do, you know. Take a bit of advice from myself, I do. Get shivers up the back bone then. A bit of shaking going on in the neck bone, I can imagine. Oh no. Anyway, so I'm shaking my neck bone, shaking my shoulder bone, shaking my elbow bone, shaking my wrist bone. Shaking me uh, little finger bone, and me uh, the finger next to that, the finger next to that, and the finger next to that, and me thumb bone as well. A fair bit of shaking going on. Just have a like a night out, that you know. Oh no. Thank you. Cheers. Very much indeed. because I wouldn't mind to join in with that, you know? You could say that, you could say that. Hello. Anyway, so, you want some more then? We've already done my rock, rocking with Rita, you know? You know that, you know it well. Well, you've heard it once or twice this evening, so uh, I might do it again, yeah. No, no, no. I'll do the uh, the last song for tonight, this one. It's a sad number, this, so uh, we won't see you dancing, we won't see you cheering, I should imagine, because um, it's the end of the night, you know. So I was at the, uh, uh, you know, down the road the other day, walking down the road. Walking past the prison, saw these yellow ribbons tied around the old trees, you know. I thought, well, I do like yellow ribbons, so uh, I'll untie a few, you know. So I untied a few. It's a bit of a sad day, really, because, uh, you know, I got arrested of it. Stealing private property, you know. It's a sad day, that. Anyway, three years later, I got out of prison, I was walking down the road. Saw a few more ribbons tied around the oak tree, you know. I wasn't tempted then, so, uh, hey. 
know what I mean? You know, luckily, I had a few at one, you know, the house where I live. Got into the uh, spare room, into the wardrobe, took me yellow ribbons there. Anyway, so I went down to my local pub, the, uh, the old oak tree, tied me yellow ribbons round the doors I did. The landlord is a bit disappointed, you know, because uh, he didn't get much custom that day, so uh, it's a bit of a sad day, you know. It's uh, unfortunate, so. Anyway, so tie a ribbon around the old oak tree, that's my advice. Tie a ribbon around the old oak tree. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Why not, say? Hey? Oh no, thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no, no, no. Well, well, well. Bruce Forsyth, that's what he says. Well, 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 you know. Good career ahead of him, eh? I've not got any more, actually, you know. I've got one more number, Rockin' with Rita. Could do that one again. Tell you one more joke before the, I do that one again, actually, you know. This uh, bloke the other day, mate of mine, he walks up to me, he said, uh, bit of a cold day, he tells us, that about two cc. He said, what do you mean, two degrees? That's great. He said, no, too cold, chief. <laughs> did you know that uh, Elvis used to be called chief? Yes. I did. <laughs> this bloke here did, but he didn't. Unfortunate for him, eh? Anyway, I don't know the one about receding hairlines actually made, do you? Do you know the one about the uh, stupid jumper? I'm sure you do. What about your beard then? Not a very good beard that, mate. I want to take a leaf out of my book, you know. Anyway. You've been abusive, are you? Want to watch yourself outside then? Anyway. Anyway, so one more number tonight. Glad you didn't swear then, actually, you know. Never got confused. See you dancing for the last time then. Rocking with the bloke down here. Rocking it with this mate. But you sure can't beat rocking with Rita, you know. From your head to your toe. Oh no. Rocking with Elvis. Rocking with uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Rocking with Gene Vincent again. You sure can't beat rocking with Rita, though. From your head to your toe. Oh no. Oh, mate. Oh, no. Bear that in mind. Let's see it rocking. 